Welcome everyone! In this video, I'll show you how screenshots and videos can be made in Mozobook. You'll see how to cut out images and how to paste them into an exercise book from Mozobook or an external source. You'll also learn how to record an entire presentation or just one part of it. Later, you can reuse these images and videos or you can even share them through Mozobook. Insert images and videos into exercises as interactive content. Also, send the recorded video to students through Google Classroom. First, check your window settings to make sure you can make screenshots or record videos. Right-click on your computer desktop and select the Display Settings option. If the scale and layout is more than 100%, please set it to 100%. That's how to ensure that your screenshot or video will be good quality. Of course, you can change this setting back once the recording is done, if you don't like the modifications you've made to your screen. Let's go back to Mozobook now to start the actual recording. First of all, it's important to mention that there are various interfaces available in Mozobook. I'm using the advanced one now. That means that every important function that you'll need to take screenshots including the camera button, is shown in the menu bar at the bottom of the screen. Click on this icon to select the screenshot toolbar, the video recorder, and the audio recorder. This video will show you these functions. Click on the menu in the top left-hand corner of the screen and select the Appearance menu item to change the layout of the interface. If you switch back to the normal interface, notice that the camera icon has disappeared. That is, it can be found somewhere else. Click on Settings on the right-hand side of the menu bar. Notice the small camera icon so you can access the screenshot menu from here as well. Let's change the interface to simple this time. The menu bar has completely disappeared. Now, click on the menu in the top left-hand corner and select the Settings menu item to find the screenshot function. Now, I'll switch back to the advanced interface so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Before taking a screenshot or recording a video, select where you want to save the image or video. All you have to do is click on the Into Publication menu item. Notice that the image or video in this case would be saved directly into the publication. You can choose the Onto New Page option, which means a new page will automatically open with the image or video on it. You can also save it in a new window if you like. Finally, there is a Save Only option as well, which means that the image or video will be saved into Mozabook's own library, so later you'll be able to find it there. Click on the Saved Screenshots option to access these items. Notice that these images or videos will be saved onto your own computer in the Saved Screenshots folder within the Mozobook folder. Let's prepare a presentation. I've already started to prepare the presentation. Today's lesson is going to be about how to construct a 60-degree angle. I've already written the title of the presentation here. Notice that I've already inserted a worksheet here and a video as well. We'll get back to the video later. Click on the Screenshot icon, then select the Screenshot Toolbar menu item. Let's say you'd like to insert a part of the maths textbook into your presentation. You can opt to insert the whole screen. You can also choose the Freehand Screen section so you can cut out the part that you want to insert. This doesn't look very nice, so we won't use it in the video. Let's simply choose the Save and Insert Screen Section option so you can manually select the part of the page you need from the textbook. Just like that. As we chose to save the image in the publication, it automatically inserted the image into the publication currently in use. However, you can also simply drag and drop it into your presentation. It's already inserted into the presentation as well. 
Another way to insert the image from the publication into the presentation is to copy and paste it. That's it! Next, let's say that you want to add another image to your presentation. But this time, I'm going to click on the eye icon because my plan is to search for an image on the internet. Notice that it's not only possible to insert images or videos from Mozabook, but from external sources as well. Let's select an image. I'll need this image of an equilateral triangle. I'm going to use the same option as before. And there it is. I have the image I need for my presentation. Click on the eye icon again. Notice that the image has been inserted into the presentation. I don't want to use it as an image, but as an icon. Therefore, in the drop-down menu, I'll select Properties and change the image to Small Icon. I'll also change its name to Equilateral Triangle. After saving the modifications, notice that the image now appears as a small icon. Click on the icon to open the image. That's all you have to know about taking screenshots. Let's discover how video recording works. Click on the camera icon, but this time select Video Recording. Then, choose the part of the screen that you want to record. That'll be OK. Let's go to a blank page to record the video more simply. Now, we'll record the construction of an angle. It's important not only to set the part of the screen to be recorded, but also the quality of the video. You can select normal or high quality. We recommend that you record high quality videos. It's also very important to check the volume setting. We recommend you record videos at a higher volume. If you want to record your voice as well, select the microphone you want to use. It can be the built-in microphone on your computer or the one with your headset. I'm going to choose this. When you're ready, click on the Record button to start the recording. 3, 2, 1, and it's recording. You can construct the angle with the geometry tools in the pencil case. You can construct the 60-degree angle while explaining the steps. I'm only showing you how these tools can be used. This is how the compass works. To finish the recording, you just need to press Stop or hit F11 if you're in full screen mode. After you stop the recording, the video will be played automatically. What you do with this video is up to you. For example, you can insert it into your presentation. Click on the Pin button to insert it as a small icon, large icon, or image. When you close the video, the program confirms that it's been saved. I didn't pin it because I've already inserted a previous video. Notice that I recorded the whole construction process while I was explaining to the students the steps they need to follow. If you want to send your students the entire video, or just part of it, via Google Classroom, for example, all you have to do is find the video you've saved. Meanwhile, I've started to prepare a lesson in Google Classroom. Simply click on Add, then select File, as you want to upload a file. After that, select the video from the right folder. These videos can always be found like this. Windows, C Drive, Program Files x 86, Mosaic, Mosa Login, your name, screenshots. Click on Open to upload it.
and then click on Post to send it to your students. Don't forget to save your presentation. Just click on the name of your presentation, or on File and then on Save. That's it! Don't forget to upload it to your MozoWeb account. Just click on File, then select the Share menu item. This ensures that your presentation won't be lost. You can reuse it anytime. You can also open it on another computer that has MozoBook installed on it. Thank you for your attention. I recommend everyone watch our tutorial videos to learn about MozoBook and MozoWeb. If you need further information, please go to our website at mozoweb.com and scroll down to the page to find the Can We Help You menu item. Click on it and write to us at our customer support page.